What's going on, everybody? This is Neil Bill Piano. Welcome back to episode five of my MVP show. And today is Super Bowl Sunday. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be ask, I'm going to be answering a couple of questions about the Super Bowl. So without further ado, let's get into it. What do you think are the Panthers' strengths going into this game? The biggest thing to look at when you're looking at the Carolina Panthers is obviously their NFL MVP quarterback Cam Newton. He's had a phenomenal year, one of the best years I've ever seen played by a quarterback. And head coach Ron Rivera needs to use him as much as possible because in order for them to win this game, they're really going to need to use all the strengths that Cam Newton has. And the other thing that you have to look at with the Panthers is what, how well is their defense going to be playing today in this game? Because if they get up by a big lead and they start playing Lexi Dainsco like they did against the Giants in a regular season or a couple weeks ago when they played the Seahawks in the division round, it's going to be a tough day for the Bron for the Carolina Panthers defense. What do you think the strengths of the Broncos are coming into this game? Biggest strength the Broncos have has to be the, their defense. It's the number one defense in the league for pretty much the whole year with linebacker Vaughn Miller dominating and cornerback a key to leave. Cam Newton knows that he, he won't be able to take that many chances downfield because to leave is going to be able to stop their receivers and one and so when it comes to the read option that Cam Newton does a lot it's going to be Von Miller trying to read Cam Newton whether he's going to give the ball to his running back or he's going to take it himself that would be the biggest strength for them and the other thing to look at is the ground attack by the Broncos the Broncos I've seen in these playoffs have been able to establish a really good ground game even though that they would like to have a little bit better of a passing game with Peyton Manning but if they can have a really good ground attack against the Panthers, I think they have a really good shot of winning this game. What did Carolina do to neutralize Denver's running game? They have to do a lot of blitzing. I think that if they can shut down the Denver ground attack, they're going to force Peyton Manning to throw a lot, which he hasn't done in a long time. And if we saw anything from when Peyton played against the Seahawks a few years ago, he's going to get round, he's going to make mistakes, and he's going to overthink things. So the biggest thing on the, when it comes to the ground attack is that they have to blitz a lot and plug up those holes because if they can't do that, then the Broncos are going to have a major advantage. Do you think the Carolina defensive line can stand up to the Denver offensive line given how much success Denver's had running the ball this year? I, I would say so. I think that if the Panthers defense comes to play and play the way that they are capable of playing, I think that they will definitely have the advantage over the over the Broncos offensive line. Obviously, the offensive line is the most important part of the whole offense, and if you can shut down the offensive line and the ground attack, you basically are shutting down the entire offense because you're not giving Peyton Manning a lot of time to throw the ball, and you're going to force him to make a lot of mistakes and get some takeaways in order to win the game. Carolina is successful in shutting down Denver's ground game. Do you think Peyton Manning still has what it takes to be able to overcome that and get his team to win through the air? It basically has to, it basically has to do with what does Peyton Manning see? We, a lot of people have said Peyton Manning, he studies a lot of film, he spends a lot of hours trying to make sure that he wants to be perfect, but sometimes he does a lot of overthinking, so we have to you have to wait and see how he's going to react to some blitz packages when he's in the shotgun or when they have some good coverage on their big receivers like Emmanuel Sanders and Demarius Thomas. So in my opinion, I would have to say that I don't think Peyton Manning has it the way that he did a couple of years ago. Um, and if the Panthers defense is able to shut down that ground attack, like I said before, I think it's going to be a long day in the passing game because it's going to force the Broncos to throw a lot more than they would like to, and it's going to create some problems with turning over the ball. Cam Newton was just named the MVP of the NFL. Do you agree with that selection? That's part one. And the second part is, even though he's the MVP of the league, do you think he's going to have jitters and experience problems? Because Peyton Manning, this is going to be his third Super Bowl, well, to answer the first part, yes, I think Peyton Manning, def uh, excuse me, Cam Newton definitely deserves 
the MVP because he's played on a much higher level than a lot of these other guys, especially the other guys that were nominated. Now, obviously, Tom Brady is definitely worthy of being an MVP, but Cam Newton just had such a far superior season. And he obviously played a lot better than Carson Palmer, as we saw in the NFC Championship game. And to answer the second part of the question, I would say no. I don't think Cam Newton's going to have jitters. I think he's going to act the same way he normally acts, you know, with his you know, smiling and calm personality. I think the only way that you'll start to see Cam Newton look a little nervous is that if he, ha if he doesn't have the success that he normally gets early on in the game. If Denver can find ways to shut him down and frustrate him, that's when you'll start seeing him get angry, not only at himself, but at his teammates, and they might start making mistakes, and that will be a huge advantage for the Denver Broncos. I uh, heard a statistic that uh, Cam Newton uh, is the leading rushing threat for the Panthers in home plays. At least not when he scrambles and gets in trouble, but actually the plays designed for him to run the ball. Do you think that uh, Ron Rivera can still have success with that kind of game plan in this game? I think so. I think Ron Rivera is going to take some chances early on in the game to see how the Denver defense is going to react. And if Denver is constantly having problems with stopping the run, if they're giving up on average like six, seven, eight yards a clip, then I think Ron Rivera is going to continue to do that, establish the running game so that when the Den Denver defense starts over pursuing the running game, they can go to the pass and they can sh and Cam Newton can show off his impressive arm. But if Denver's defense continues to stop the run, then I think Ron Rivera will start to, excuse me, they will start to throw the ball a little bit more and create more chances through the air because it'll be tougher if the Denver defense focuses just their attention on their running back Stewart and Cam Newton running the ball. How important are turnovers in this game? Turnovers are huge. Like I said before, it comes down to if Denver is forced to make a lot more passes than they would like. I think Peyton Manning will start to overthink a little bit and will be forced to throw a lot more passes and try to fit him in there and that will create some interceptions. With regards to running the ball, I don't really see that many fumbles happening. The only time I would really start seeing a fumble is that if Cam Newton doesn't slide when he runs. I don't really think the running backs are going to, I don't think you're going to see a lot of fumbles. I don't think the running backs are going to be fumbling the ball that much. So I would say turnovers are big because it's going to create a lot of momentum, and especially for a guy like Cam Newton, every time a big play happens, he gets really hyped up, and sometimes he might make a little bit of a mistake and force, and force some passes in there that won't work and might be knocked down or even picked off and taken back to the house. How do you think Denver's secondary matches up with Cam Newton? Denver's secondary. Well, with regards to looking at, obviously, a key to leave, you obviously know that he's going to be on their best receivers. Uh, I think that if Cam Newton can establish the running game and force a lot of these safeties to come in to try to stop the run and plug up those holes, then he can start doing some play action passes and burn them deep. So I think when I look at this, I would probably say that Cam Newton has a slight bit more of an advantage on, the, on that Denver secondary than the secondary has on Newton. So it'll be, it'll be, t it'll be interesting to see just how well Cam Newton does against that impressive, impressive secondary and the entire defense in general for the Denver Broncos. Game for Carolina. He's the game for Carolina. Use Cam Newton as much as possible on offense, whether it's running the ball or throwing the ball. If you, you he's a very big guy. He's six foot six. He's a bulking brute when he runs the ball. He can knock over people, and he also has one of the biggest arms in the league. He can sling that ball all over the field. So use Cam Newton as much as possible. And when it comes to Carolina's defense, they got to stop the Denver run. They stop that run. They're going to force Peyton Manning to throw a lot more. He's going to overthink things, and he's going to start making mistakes. Unless Carolina's defense gets a little too cocky and starts playing a little lackadaisical against the pass. Then Peyton Manning is going to easily burn them. Game for the Broncos. The key to the game for the Broncos, first thing to look at is their offense. They need to establish the ground attack. If they can do that, it'll set up a lot more passes for Peyton Manning. He won't have to throw as much as, as, much as Carolina would want him to, and he'll have a lot more success having a balanced offense against a, I would say, partially mediocre 
Carolina defense. And when it comes defensively, if they can put a guy on Cam Newton all game, probably Von Miller, and just stop him on the ground and through the air, and if they can really shut down the passing attack for Carolina, I think Denver will have a lot of success and go on and win this game that a lot of people think is not going to happen. Bottom line, who wins this game? Who wins this game? It's a tough one. I've been thinking about it for, for the last two weeks since the winners were announced. I think, even though I would love to see Peyton Manning get another Super Bowl ring and walk off into the sunset with two rings and definitely going to be a first bout Hall of Famer, I think Cam Newton and the Panthers are going to win this game, and I'm going with them winning 31-24. I think this is going to be an offensive game. I think you're really going to see Cam Newton come out and play at his best on the biggest stage. I think you're going to see Peyton Manning also play at a high level, but I think Carolina's offense is just a little bit too much, even though they're going up against the number one defense in the league. Well, you heard all the questions here, folks. Uh, I'm afraid I'm out of time, but... I want to thank you all very much for listening on this very special MVP show here on Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, if you guys have any more questions to ask me, you can ask them in the comments below. I'll also have all my social media names in the comments below in case you guys want to follow me and keep up to date with your sports every day. Happy Super Bowl Sunday, and I hope you all enjoy the game and enjoy those wonderful commercials. But always remember this, when life gives you lemons, Dab on them, folks. Peace out.